These actually work pretty well. I wonder if I can still detach this. No. Oh. Detachable. Yeah, I don't know if you can detach it after the fact. We can. Don't mind if I do. Nice. So hold on. Before I do that, um, let's get some potions back here. Ah, oh, not enough resources. What? It's amazing how quickly the resources go. But yeah, I'm definitely carrying this. That's the thing I tried to knock off so many times it didn't happen. But I definitely got to expand the medicinal stuff. Get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Yeah, I've been saying it before, but based on how powerful our, our enemies are and the relative power difference, it feels like people like Aaron don't really stand much of a chance against the likes of a specter. They'll just have to hide. Otherwise, they're going to get themselves killed. But yeah, I mean, health-wise, there's there's a lot of um, plants at the top. Aloy, ah, Errand. Yeah, the Spectre stuck its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight, I'm almost there. Just hurry. Why is it not killing him? Come on. Obviously, don't want him to die, but I don't think he would normally stand much of a chance. So yeah, I'm going to cheese this a little bit, hopefully, by carrying this into the battlefield with me. I mean, we've already fought one Spectre, quote-unquote, legitly. So I'll use my ingenuity and use this on the oh, next one. Sound good. I gotta get to Aaron. Okay. Overhealed a little bit, too. And we're about to tear shit up. Thankfully it didn't do huge amounts of damage, it wasn't like one hit KO damage, otherwise then obviously we'd be in big trouble. Aaron, I'm here. I jumped. That's big shoot Shields down. Hey. Stay put. I'll see what I can do. He didn't do as much damage as I expected. Okay, well, that was something. Now, I need to get a lot of medicinal plants first. I trust that he'll be okay in the cover. And we do have stealth on our side this time. Ha! Come on! So this time I should be able to scan it properly. Yeah, it's hard for me to see where that unit is. Come here. You got a sweet spot. Oh wow, he's heading straight in. What a beast. There you go. I don't have plasma, dude. <sighs> Elizabeth's everywhere. Aloy, she's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. 
Long story. But it'll have to wait. She needs a healer. But we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Xenos won't be so invincible after all. Yeah, so Erend was already talking about plasma, and I guess plasma is the way to... Plasma is that sort of futuristic sounding thing anyway. I'm sure that helps. But yeah, I, I think bringing over the, the gun from the other one made that battle much easier. But we did have stealth cover and we had Eren too to distract it, so I think it was always going to be easier second time around. Why can't oh, we pick this up? Snow's dampening sounds. It's like stuck in the wall. Give me. Damn it. But yeah, I'll take a minute to just restock a little here. Okay, so I generally improve my supplies a little. I can sort this out now. So I think we cut straight back to the base now. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. Okay. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zeniths. I should check on the clone too. Varl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Yeah, I'll do this first. Aloy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? She had to do a lot of VA work for this game. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Okay. Yeah. Booting up. <sighs> so, uh, hey, Loy. I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. And now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. 
But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. Yeah, okay. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. So yeah, there's the whole your escape thing. But my first question is, you guys had a pretty nice blank slate, I guess, when you had the planet like orbiting Sirius. And you guys screwed that all up. So I don't know what makes them think that they could just bop down here and just completely wipe off all of the, the humanity and life on Earth or whatever they want to do. And then be like, yes, this time I'm sure we'll do it right. It's a bit of a weird one, but let's talk more and see what the deal is. The Zenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. <laughs> I think it'll be interesting to see a little bit of the nature versus nurture thing as well. You can already obviously see it, that they're genetically identical. Identical twins, basically, slash clones of Elizabeth, but also have their own like uniqueness about them, which is obviously part of how they were born, how they were raised, who they were raised by, and their experiences and their memories and all that kind of stuff. So I think there's probably going to be some sort of theme or commentary here about it's not your genes completely that make you who you are, it's the, the people around you, how you're raised, you know, who you love, who you've been loved by, experiences, memories, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I expect to see a bit of as well, eventually. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. Okay, so obviously one of the things that was worth speculating about before we found out, well, before it was confirmed by Beta, was what is the current Farzee in the situation? Why are they even trying to come back here? And well, it's because their own planet screwed up. So that's also an interesting part of the equation. So I thought there's a chance that maybe it's going to continue with the fact that there is life somewhere else in the in the galaxy, in the universe other than Earth, but at the moment it's sort of come back full circle and it's like, other than humanity on Earth and other than these Far Zenith guys that are like, I guess the bulk of them is in their spaceship or whatever, it can't just be like five people or something. So they must have their own little group of people on whatever spaceship they use to escape from um, their planet. But how many of them are there? Do they have like a battalion of ships? Are there like still thousands of them alive? up in space. It's definitely interesting to know, so I'm curious about it all. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. 
I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars, it, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit, plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space, other survivors of the colony. Exactly. Cause to me, that's the biggest question, because if you look at the kind of technology they have, if they were facing an existential threat, you'd assume that they'd have the technology to at least get their people up and into orbit. So I would imagine that there's a lot of them. But You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. And we also still don't know what the cause was then. I mean, they could be lying about that too. They've lied about plenty of shit. So they might have completely screwed it up themselves. Or there might even still be a planet over there with people on it. Who the hell knows? How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bane is dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. Smart. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Nice. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Yeah. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. Of course. Of course it wasn't. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, the avatars of the Archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge just out of reach must have been frustrating. Yeah, but again, then it means that the Far Zenith people had that Apollo knowledge all along for all the time that they spent around Sirius, and it wasn't enough to, to lead them away from ruin, so... All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or... So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenith? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Gaius is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single... To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. 
Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. <laughs> How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Yeah, it can't be easy to suddenly just meet your clone and they give you this whole superiority business. Like, oh, I'm so much more advanced than you are. You and your primitive ways are so far behind. It's like, shut the hell up, man. <laughs> We're trying our best. We've been through it. We've been to hell and back multiple times to try and even get us this far. Now, I don't want to talk to all of these guys again right now because we've been on a lot of expedition dumpage, so I'd rather just speak to Gaia first for direct story related dumpage first. This has been a very, very, very heavy Welcome story back. session. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, Maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the Zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology. But not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. That's not all. The Zenith got Eleuthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Yeah, so after a massive uh, detour from these two, which was obviously very, very needed for the story, we can now get back on track. So yeah, I'm level 22. Uh, sea of Sands also level 22, so I think I'm I'm on point at the moment. Uh, this one is a level 25, so I think I can continue the story here. Uh, go towards Poseidon, and then once I'm done with Poseidon, maybe then I can go for this one, possibly. I get a Lightning Hunter bow as well for my troubles. So yeah, that was a lot of information. But thankfully, stuff's starting to make more sense now. I'll see if there's anything new left. Hey, Gaia. It's me. Hello, Aloy. 
Did you wish to continue our discussion? Let me just see. Uh, I think it. I think it's gonna. Mm, there's an exclamation point, so I guess there's a new new dialogue here. When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. Okay, so there's not too much more to that. Our progress, Beta. So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. What were you expecting? <laughs> I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true, she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. Oh, she better. She beat her. I'm just going to see if they if we repeat the same thing here. Zenith Immortality. So the Zeniths are the same people who left Earth. Physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? From what we know of Far Zenith, it is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, any challenge can be overcome. Like how Minerva eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. Exactly. The Zeniths. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. Do you know anything about them? Unfortunately, no. My personal database is limited to those who worked on Zero Dawn. Additionally, it appears Far Zenith was quite secretive about their members. Only one, Oswald Dalgard, was ever publicly known. Right. He was the spokesperson back at their old launch facility. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. Yeah, that much is clear. Uh, far Zenith technology... So from what Beta told me, I guess we can assume the Zenith's technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounters with them amply demonstrate, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. They seemed indestructible, but that weapon the rebels used stripped their shield somehow. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. While we lack the anti-shielding weapon, were I to absorb Hephaestus and utilize it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Beta believes the Zeniths want to use the terraforming system to wipe out life on Earth. Start over. So they can build it how they want. Further supporting our hypothesis. But why? Given their technology, they could wipe out the tribes of the world by easier means. And if they're the same people who left Earth a thousand years ago, wouldn't they want the biosphere to be as it was? It is likely they adjusted to different planetary conditions in their colony on Sirius. 
They may be trying to recreate that environment here. Turning Earth into a new Sirius. Their own personal playground. Fair enough. I mean, that doesn't seem that strong to me so far, but I think we'll learn more about the um, more about their stuff later. So I think I'm going to go here. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. Honestly, I think at the moment we've got enough information to continue here. I could speak to all of them individually again, but it's just going to take way too long. Even I have my exposition limits, and it's all optional anyway. So. I can't blame the game for giving you that much, but I think I've, I've received enough. But they are going to give us a side quest, so I will speak for that reason. Makes you want to punch something. More like someone. 